I went and did uh, The Apprentice. And when I got there, I thought it was Trump. It was Schwarzenegger instead because mm. Trump had announced uh, to the folks at NBC that he was going to run for president. And they, they have an equal time law that never gets enforced, but it is a law. So they couldn't, they couldn't put him on TV. For so, however long he was on TV, even for that, they'd have to offer to his opponent. So, Chell, you convinced? Oh, sorry. But how, how I want to stay on this governor of Oregon thing. How convinced are you, Chael Sonnen, that you will be the governor of Oregon? The reason I ask you that is uh, the current governor of Oregon, I believe her name is Tina Kotek. Yep. She's the first uh, out lesbian governor. Her and I think also at the same time the governor of Massachusetts. And there, I don't think there's been a governor. In, yeah, there she is right there. There's our girl. Uh I don't think there's been a governor, a Republican governor in Oregon since the early 80s. Yes. So you'd be reversing a ridiculous trend that's going on in Oregon. How, I assume if you're a Trump fan, you're a Republican, I'm assuming, how will you get elected as governor of Oregon? Well, and I, and I will tell you, I mean, I have a number of strategies, and that, and that is Tina Kotek. I'll tell you what, she's tough. Like, I don't agree mm -hmm. with her on politics, but she's tough, and she does not upset anybody. She finds that she doesn't go in the media and try to make waves. She goes in the office and works. I've got to give her credit for that. She has worked to get to that position. I will take her out in the next cycle if that's the one I run in, but I, I must give her uh, that compliment, that she, she will show up and put some time in. One thing that happens in Oregon is we are known as the second bluest state in the nation, only behind Massachusetts. And I just don't find that to be true. You we guys are bluer have, than time. California? Yes. Wow. I mean, we were the first. Oregon? Uh, That's what he said. Yeah. We legalized drugs. We're trying to switch yes. that right now. Yeah, that, I, I actually wanted to ask a follow-up. I remember in 2020, yep. Oregon became the first state in the union to legalize and decriminalize all drugs. All of them. And Pat Heroin, always talks cocaine. about what? Yeah, all anything. Of them. Pat always talks about bad policies have what? Consequences. Consequences. Yeah. Now they're going back and they're like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have done up. that. Yeah. What would you do on the drug situation in Oregon? But that was a really very bad. stunning one. And, and the theory behind it isn't the worst theory. The theory is that you reduce crime when you stop making it illegal. And drugs are about the only thing in the world that you sell and somebody has to die over it. So that wouldn't happen anymore. This was the thought. This way, you wouldn't have to have crime. You wouldn't have to do that. In fact, it was the government that was opening these things and they're going to give you clean needles. And it got weird. It got really weird and i don't quite know how you go down that path ideologically like i, I couldn't imagine coming home and telling my mom hey mom this is what i'm gonna do and mm -hmm. i just couldn't imagine telling her that was my idea but at any rate it, they, it was a big problem there's uh, all sorts of homelessness and the crime is up and the addiction is up and uh, dropouts and single mothers and i mean everything that we would like to reduce is up and they are uh being a completely um a majority with democrats they are trying to change that right now they realize they made a mistake you you think you're electable in oregon Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We, we, we have, to finish the thought I was, is um, why we're the second bluest state in the nation? It's just one county. It's Multnomah County and it's Portland. And the Republicans come in every single cycle and they try to appease the people in Multnomah County. They try to win them over every time. I don't know why they do that. I will annex Multnomah County. I will put it on Zillow and sell it to the state of Washington. <laughs> and I will roll in and take Vancouver from them. I have no idea why they're trying to appease any of those people. I will pay. I'll buy all their property. I will pay them and they can leave. But when I say that, I feel like that's the biggest mistake they always try to make. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to cure homelessness. And then nobody even takes a step in that direction. Well, no one the county has made it very clear. They don't care about crime. They don't care about drugs. We burnt Portland to the ground and the mayor joined in. They blamed Trump for an insurrection, which they couldn't even spell in all fairness. They never heard the word. They couldn't spell it to this day. They burnt Portland to the ground on mm. video. They threw the Molotov cocktails at all the buildings. They, they raided and, and, and destroyed everything. And then those businesses didn't come back when the, when the city didn't make any arrest and it was on video when the mayor came down and protested with the rioters the business said we're not coming back if we don't trust you they went across the bridge into a state of washington it's only seven miles away and i, I mean i just share that with you that that's not right and that isn't what the people want and they do a good job of getting them to the polls and then they end up pissing off the republicans because they try to appease well no one can I'm not joking about that and i realize i can't put it on zillow and sell it but i'll get a long way with that statement and if i could put it on zillow and sell it I would. I think, or, I think <laughs> Portland was one of the cities. I know in Seattle, they think they had Chaz, these autonomous oh, zones. For goodness sake. What was going on in Portland? I, at some point, you know, the left has gone too far left. They're no longer liberals and, you know, uh, uh, democracies with a lower D. It's just it's gone full left. It's gone full woke. How would you actually change 
Portland and these autonomous zones and this woke lefty, uh, as Elon Musk calls it, the woke mind virus. What would you do with that? I, I have to tell you, I mean, this gets very philosophical, and I've been thinking about this since I was nine years old. So wow. I'm trying, as you guys are asking, which I didn't know you were going to ask me about this, I thought we were going to be talking like O'Malley or something uh, <laughs> with the title fight. So I'm, I'm trying to find a way to compress this. But uh, first off, it's the mindset. It, it drives me crazy. Now, my, my sister is the head of school board, and my mother is a teacher. Wow. I, I disclose that because I'm going to give a hard time to educators. I, I, I'd like people to know that I... I've lived this. I live with it. My family kicks in, but I have a tremendous problem when when teachers come out and say, you know, we don't have funding or or the classroom sizes are too big. That's a problem for me. I'm a wrestling coach. I have never been paid a dollar, but I have brought in millions of dollars in the form of scholarships for the athletes I've coached over the years. There are 80 boys that show up on the football field at three o'clock, tired and full of testosterone. The worst kids in the school. Their mouths are shut. They learn exactly what we want them to learn. And we're not paid a single dollar as coaches. And I have a big problem when the teachers can't keep your attention for 30 minutes. I think that's, I, I, I think that we got to be a little bit tougher. We have to expect certain things. And we keep throwing money at some of these problems. I mean, you asked me how I'm going to clean up Portland. Mm -hmm. I will deputize the Gypsy Jokers and the Mongols. I will put a Harley Davidson on every block. We will end crime that day. And I'm not joking about that. They're talking about school shootings. Well, what are you going to do? We got to bring all this money. We got to have resources officers. I will deputize some good old boys that I know. We will make this go away real fast. Wow. White real Herb fast. style back in the day. White Herb style. You will pull in, and there will be a guy on a Harley that you're going to have to pass. If you think I'm joking about it, you think that they're going to walk the, the whatever past them, they're not. There, there's other ways to do this. We've tried the nice way, and it didn't work. It sounds there's like it's going to be the, the new Oregon Trail. What, yeah. what, what do you think about what is, is that kind of an idea with seeing what Bukele's doing in El Salvador? Are you seeing how this guy won 85% wow. on the second term, what he did with the Mara Sabato, the MS-13 going in jail, and they're sleeping on bets that are – uh, metal. You're so you're not sleeping on a mattress. Good, what, good. what he's doing to him. What do you think about what he's doing in El Salvador? Sheriff Joe. I just learned about this actually a few days ago. This Kelly gentleman, but uh, Sheriff Joe. Or probably if I could transfer today, I knew all about him. This guy was a legend. And you know, another thing that he did is he was deputizing people. It wasn't this whole thing where you're hiring. We're having budget cuts and we don't know what to do. I mean, I keep hearing about that, but the people that I got the most from. In my life, whether that was parents that weren't paid or that was coaches that I had uh, that were mentors, they weren't applying for jobs and it wasn't money and they didn't need budget cuts and they didn't complain and they didn't need uh, they, they, they didn't need COVID time off and they didn't need summers off. I mean, it was it was one of these situations where the right people are out there and they will come forward and they'll do a really great job. But there's there's another way to do it. I mean, when I get asked this in Oregon, I ultimately run and it's either going to be my success or my demise. But I'm going to tell them I'm going to bring back the lynch mob. That's what I'm going to do. What does I, that I'm mean? going to bring the lynch mob are the good old boys that put on masks and they come in and they handle the business. If you want to kill somebody or you want to rob them, your trial is going to be right here in the street. I'm not being literal when I say okay. that, guys. But I'm talking about from a standpoint that I'm going to let Multnomah County know. Like, the gig is up. There's a new sheriff in town. And just like you can try to pass by the guy on the Harley, you can come and try to pass by me. 